Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Well, hello, strangers. Pleasant seeing you here, those few still subscribe to the channel and actually waiting for my next video. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you guys know what's up. Uh, hiatus. But it is a working hiatus. It is a relaxed hiatus. So you're going to get these videos maybe once every two weeks or so, just letting you know what I've been up to, what games I've been playing, and just kind of what's been going on in my life. Maybe some musing, some thoughts on when the channel's going to come back, how it's going to come back, what it's going to be like, because I do want it to be noticeably different, I guess I should say. So uh, without any further ado, let's get down to business. So if you'll remember, the whole idea for this hiatus was to take some time away from making videos so that I could just enjoy playing games. Because when I was making videos, I sort of played games aggressively, tried to get everything out of my could, get the video made, and then move on to the next thing. Well, I've been taking some time to relax and devote a little bit of myself to playing some different games. You're going to see some of those on the screen. We'll rotate through sort of a, a ragtag bunch of different games that I've been playing, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Look for a particularly poorly played game of FTL, which will certainly have veterans of that game screaming at their screen. So uh, just heads up. You'll also see some Offspring Fling, the great uh, baby-throwing simulator from Kyle Pulver, as well as some dual stick shooters or twin stick shooters or dual analog shooters whatever you want to call them uh, drm actually got me back into these even though it wasn't a dual stick shooter itself it reminded me of the fun i had in the genre so you're going to see some footage from the really great and uh, i think highly overlooked game waves as well as some mutant storm reloaded maybe a little ion storm if i manage to capture that footage You'll always get a title screen for any game I'm playing, so if you're wondering what I'm playing, you're usually no more than a few seconds away from being able to rewind back and actually get the splash screen. So just keep your peepers open. You'll see a lot of different games kind of make their way through, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. So apart from the grab bag of indie games that you're going to see on your screen, I've also been playing my latest AAA pickups, my two sequels, Darksiders and Borderlands. I actually put Darksiders down to play Borderlands. I don't know, I was just attracted to Borderlands at the time, like, hey, it's this crazy shooter with crazy guns and zillions of guns and dubstep and all this bullcrap. And so I sat Darksiders 2 down, and unfortunately I reached this place where when I tried to go back to it this week, I couldn't. I saved right before a boss fight, and I had no idea what the hell I was doing. So I'm going to have to sit down with that game and just do an about face, go away from that boss fight, and just go out and slaughter some regular enemies, relearn the controls, and then pick up my progress. And now when it comes to Borderlands 2, I've actually been playing quite a bit of that. It's, it's a really decent pop-in, pop-out kind of game, and I've actually, unfortunately, gotten bogged down in the alt process. Something that I'm really known for in MMOs is making way too many alternate characters not focusing on my main, and that has been the case in Borderlands 2 as well. So I made my soldier, uh, my guy with the turret, and I got him maybe to level 18 or 20, and then I said, you know what, I keep hearing everybody say that the uh, Siren lady is way OP. So let me make one of those. And I made one of those, and I got her to, like, level 10. And then the, the Mechromancer came out. I was like, oh, okay, well, now I've got to make a Mechromancer. So I did that and really just kind of hated her. I think it's cool that she has a, a, a guy that she can put out there. But honestly, I, I don't see her as playing that differently than the soldier with the turret, and you can retract the turret when you're done. Whereas a lot of times you'll be walking around with that guy and he's got nothing to do. And I'm a real passive player. I always uh, snipe from a distance. And so the robot goes in, he wreaks havoc, he messes with my sniping because he, he attracts too many guys. I think that would be a great class if I was a more aggressive player, but I'm just not. So I'm going back to my main, I'm abandoning the Mechromancer. As much as I enjoy that idea, I'm just going to abandon it for now. Also, the skill tree wasn't really that exciting. So uh, back to the soldier. Going to focus on actually getting through the single-player game. Same thing as I'm going to do with uh, Darksiders 2 when I get the chance to relearn that game. So should be an interesting time playing those games sort of in earnest, I suppose, uh, but really putting a lot more time into the indies. Really put a lot of times in, uh, time into Waves and into Ion Storm lately. Both of those games 
are great. I like the hook that they both have with Ion Storm. You've got the uh, sucking particles in, collecting particles, and then shooting those particles out. It's kind of like a more laid-back version of Asteroids, really, because each level, your main goal is to destroy a set of Asteroids, and the enemies are just sort of incidental. They're just something that get in your way and keep you from demolishing the Asteroids. So I really like the way that they structure that. I love the gameplay. It's really tight play, cool power-ups, Really like that game. I did a video on that game uh, a while back when it was part of an Indie Royale. So check that out if you're... No, wait. It was part of a Indie Gala. Whatever. Check that video out. It's on the channel somewhere. I probably can't be bothered to actually link it. So if you really want to see it, it's there. You, you can find it. And uh, when it comes to Waves, Waves is one of those games that I've wanted to do a video for for so long. But I had a really weird first impression of that game. And I think the same thing happened with Total Biscuit. And it was an interesting article written by the developer of Waves on how he thought Total Biscuit's uh, WTF is Waves kind of might have hurt his sales, maybe. And of course, Total Biscuit, being the cynical Brit that he is, said, bullcrap, just make a better game. And I kind of agreed with him at first. My first 10 to 20 minutes of gameplay of that game, I was kind of unimpressed. But as I started to get into the game further and unlock different modes and play around with the different play styles that those modes bring, it got really, really fun. And I have to say, this is probably the, the first game in maybe in a year or two that had a really bad first impression that went on to be really, really fun. And that was great. It was great. I felt good. You know, if I had done a video on this game, I would have dismissed it. I would have played 20 minutes of it, and I would have dismissed it. And I was so privileged to get that opportunity to sit down with it, not trying to, to look at it as something that I'm using for content, but a game that I'm actually trying to play and enjoy, and play it and give it the chance that it needed to blossom. And it did, and it blossomed all over me, and I, I just loved it. And it was a great, great game, and, and so happy uh, that I actually discovered that little gem. So uh, if you see it on sale, think about picking it up. It's a really solid twin stick shooter with online leaderboards and a lot of different a lot of different modes that don't always involve you mindlessly shooting stuff. And that was one of the most refreshing things that I actually found about the game was the, the bomb disposal mode and, and the uh, survival mode where you just kind of have to move around and just avoid stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. High recommendation for waves. So apart from all those games, uh, it's kind of been beta madness over here in uh, Big Dave land. I've gotten into a lot of betas recently, nothing to do with my status as not a celebrity on YouTube and not popular on YouTube, just luck and persistence mostly. So I've been uh, going through a lot of those actually. I think I've been in six or seven over the past week or two. Uh, and I'll tell you kind of about the ones that uh, I, I think are worth talking about and the ones that I think I can talk about. First off, let's start off with one I missed. I got into, but I missed it. And that would be Raiders, Raiders Z. I, I, don't, I don't know how it's pronounced. I, 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 don't, I don't know. But I got into that one and missed the last beta weekend by a day and then missed their stress test about a week ago. So super bummed about that. I really wanted to get in and try that one out. I've heard a lot of positive things about it. Uh, so yeah, kind of bummed about that. Uh, also in the Smite beta right now, and I haven't even played it. I downloaded the client, I installed it, and I haven't even played it. Thanks, Light Jimmy, for that. I won that from Light Jimmy, uh, but haven't even played it. So those are the two that I'm kind of falling down on. Uh, Mist Raiders and uh, just not even playing Smite, and I definitely need to give that a try. I definitely need to give that a try. So what else? What else? Uh, Ravaged, that game is out now, or is it Ravage? I don't know. If that's the sort of thing you're interested in, you probably kickstarted that game and you probably already have a copy. I found the beta to be quite fun. I think the shooting controls at times were a little bit off, but that was beta experience. Beta is beta and all that business. So it seemed really solid. It seemed to deliver on its promise, which was multiplayer battlefield style FPS action. It had all the trimmings you would expect, vehicles, capture points, you know, those sort of uh, capture and hold maps, everything that you would expect. And I think it, it did it all really well with a really nice aesthetic uh, that is, you know, right on the edge of being overused, but nowhere near as overused as modern military. You know, I, there are definitely a lot of games out there doing post-apocalyptic, but not nearly as many as who are overusing the modern military theme. So check that out. Like I said, you probably kickstarted that if it's something you're interested in. Otherwise, I think it's available for a few bucks on your Steam client there and elsewhere. 
So now let's move on to the games that I'm actually actively playing during their testing phases, and uh, let's take a little stop, a little detour, to the future. Not the distant future where there is only war, but the distant future where there are giant freaking mechs. So Mech Warrior Online and Hawken are both coming out. They were announced, it feels like over a year ago now, and you probably had one of two reactions to the announcement of this rebirth of the mech genre. Your, your reaction might have been something like this. Oh great, I loved playing mech games back in the day on my 486DX. Now if that was your reaction, then probably you're gonna wanna focus on Mech Warrior Online. That game is a true mech experience. Throttle up, you're gonna walk forward. Tank controls to turn your whole body. Lock your missiles on, fire your long range missiles. All the stuff that you would expect, everything generating heat, management, aborting shutdowns to get one last hit on your opponent to kill them before they kill you. It's a mech game through and through in the classic sense of mech games. So yeah, if you're that guy that played Mech Warrior on your dad's computer, or maybe even your computer if you're like 40, uh, then yeah, this is the game for you. Focus your attention on Mech Warrior Online. That game recently came out of its NDA, still in beta testing, and I'm really enjoying it. Now the other game, Hawken, is in alpha right now. I actually won my alpha key from KB Mod, the keyboard plus mouse or die guys. So a big thanks to those guys, because there's totally a chance that one of those guys is watching this video. But I've been enjoying Hawken as well. But Hawken is going to appeal to the guy who probably met the announcement of new mech games more like this. Yeah, mech game. Yeah, I'd probably give that a try. If you're that guy, play Hawken. Hawken is a modern FPS that someone has draped a mech game over top of. It plays a lot faster, and it's a lot more loose with the interpretation of mech rules, I guess. There are, there are, there are no tank controls, there's no throttle, uh, you just walk around. There's a little bit of floatiness to it, you know, you feel like you're in a mech to a certain extent, but nothing like Mech Warrior Online or even past rudimentary mech games. Uh, it, it feels more like an FPS. There's a little bit of heat that's going to be generated by your weapons, but it's not really as much of a heat management game. It's got cool features, like a little repair bot that can come out and repair you, cool customization. It's a nice game, but it definitely applies to the more mainstream sort of FPS crowd. And uh, if you are that guy who thinks, Sim, maybe a mech game's kind of cool, check out Hawken because you're going to be a lot happier. I'm in alpha for that. I don't know what the NDA is on Hawken, so I'm not going to talk about any specifics, not going to show any footage, but I'm not telling you anything that you can't discern from the footage that they've already made available. It is a faster paced game, and it is definitely going for a mass market appeal, whereas MechWarrior Online is going for the MechWarrior fans specifically. So it's two different games. You know, ask yourself, how do you feel about mech games? And then answer accordingly by picking the game which more su suits you. You want fast paced? It's Hawken. You want more tactical, technical? It's going to be Mech Warrior Online. So now let's leave this future where there are giant freaking mechs and let's head over to the future where there are three factions trying to kill each other and control bases. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about Planet Side 2. Now, I was actually a player of Planet Side 1, but not in that traditional sense. I never purchased a copy. I actually uh, had a roommate who was playing Planet Side, and I sort of s snuck in his room and played on his computer, P played Tribes, and I played Planet Side on his computer. Uh, I was probably unemployed at the time, I would imagine, and uh, just kind of spent my days playing on his computer in his really neat room and probably farting into his chair. And Bryce, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry, I farted into your chair for like eight hours a day while you were gone at work, paying the rent for our apartment. Uh, but yeah, I was a big fan of that game, and it was a weird thing because it was back in the day of modems, and it was a bunch of people playing together. But somehow it worked, and I think we're in a place now where there's no doubt that it's going to work. They don't have to employ any real uh, tricks like they did back then. You know, you can just make this work. Internet connections are to a point where a game like this can actually work and be a hell of a fun time. And for the most part, that's what this game is. I, my one complaint is it's sometimes a little bit difficult to actually find the action but they have a really cool button that you can press on the map screen, I think, that will take you to an active conflict. Now, this has a cooldown, and while I can understand why it has a cooldown, 
it still bummed me out that it had a cooldown because it meant that I wasn't always able to get right back into the action if I accidentally spawned somewhere I didn't mean to spawn. So the one time that I really effectively used this was uh, really late one night. There was, just wasn't a lot going on. And I hit the button and it took me into this battle where there were these uh, mobile spawners. I forget what they're called. Planet side people will know what they are. They're the big trucks that you can spawn off of. And we were positioned on a bridge, pretty well covered, and we were below a base that was heavily fortified. Uh, now I'm playing uh, Terran Republic, and I think these were... What are they called? Vishnu's? Vanu's. <laughs> Vanu's, not Vishnu's. That's a whole, that's a whole different thing. Um, and they were really heavily fortifying this base, and we were trying to get into it. There was about 30 or 40 of us actually trying to get in, and we had the, the spawners positioned in a really, really smart place where they couldn't really get to them. We were using the natural hills as cover, and I was playing a sniper. I forget what they call the class. And we were having a lot of fun, man. We were doing really, really well, and we never did get the, the base. I mean, we were just kind of crashing against this fortified position, you know, like waves on a cliffside, and just there was nothing. You know, we could have eventually eroded their defenses over eons if we had had the time, but uh, finally some idiot tried to move our spawner up, and when he did, he exposed it enough to their vision lines that they uh, took a tank to it. And as soon as we lost those spawners, it, there was really nothing nothing left for us. Uh, we, we couldn't keep the reinforcements coming fast enough, and, and it just, it, it was a disaster. And then in the panic to save the other spawner, someone drove it off the bridge. So it was just, it was a hilarious comedy of errors, but for the most part, I've had a really fun time playing Planetside with a little bit of downtime. I'm looking forward to moving, moving in to a group, maybe. Finding a set group that I can run with, uh, some guys that I can actually get in there and, and, and play an integral role because in games like this I'm not that great as a solo guy who's like taking people out I'm an okay sniper at best and uh, I'm an okay kind of assault trooper at best but I really work well as a, as a medic or, or an engineer or whatever I'm as a support character I really excel as a support character and that's what I really like to try to do uh, get a part of to be a part of a set group and play some sort of a support role with them so really looking forward to uh, interacting with folks who, who will be playing planet side as it continues through the beta process and actually gets out to a wide launch trying to find some of my pals who actually play it and uh, get into a, a little bit of a group with them and, and, and go on and actually make real attempts at achieving these particular objectives in the game and not just hey, I'm a solo guy, maybe I can sneak in and steal this base, because that doesn't really work out. Okay, wow, like I'm halfway through the stuff that I actually wanted to talk about, and we are way over time, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Uh, there's other stuff I want to talk about, like uh, What the Tech, which is the show that I think is really going to be the focus of the channel when it relaunches. I want it to be like a really cool show with a stand-up intro, me on camera, and I really want to do it well. I want it to be the sort of thing that you could see appearing on a professional channel where people are actually getting paid money to do this and I have a lot of high hopes for that and uh, also wanted to talk a little bit about my my current retro gaming obsession not just hey I like retro games but but literally trying to procure cartridges and game systems from my youth and having to resist the constant pull of eBay and flea markets and jjgames.com and stuff like that so uh, we'll talk a little bit about that maybe later this week and uh, hopefully you guys will uh, will still be here. I don't know if you will. I don't even know if you're still here for this video because this is like a long ass video of just some guy talking over stupid game footage. So if you're still here, great. You get a gold star. Otherwise, uh, yeah, whatever. All right, guys. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.